Now with the newsroom, on to some earnings now. US-based software exporter Cognizant reported Q1 earnings in line with estimates. The company has uh, guided for an over 5% uh, uh, going ahead on a Q and Q basis and plans to extend their buyback program. Listen to the management on their outlook going ahead. As far as the demand environment is concerned, we feel pretty good for uh, you know the services that we take to our customers, and uh, so we see a very healthy demand. That's why you know we reported a robust growth in Q1, and uh, we have also reaffirmed our guidance of at least 17% for uh, uh, the full year. So that shows that you know we are quite. Uh, uh, optimistic about the demand environment there. This is despite the sort of uh, uh, cautious economic outlook that you keep reading in all the newspapers. That continues to be there, but given the investments that we have made uh, in our own business, in building our own capabilities, you know, we see good uh, you know, uh, demand for our services. Now Priya has taken a closer look at those numbers. Uh, Priya, talk us through. Well, meeting street expectations, U.S. software exporter Cognizant has posted a 3.7% increase in its first quarter revenues at $2.02 billion. The growth for the company was driven by spending by top clients in Europe. The IT major has also given a strong revenue guidance of 5.5% for the second quarter at $2.13 billion versus an estimate of $2.11 billion, thereby raising hopes for investors in the coming year. Cognizant has also maintained a full year revenue forecast of 17%, which exceeds the estimate of 12 to 14 percent given by NASCOM in the beginning of the year. The company has also announced that the board of directors have approved its stock repurchase program. So this buyback program has been expanded by 500 million dollars to 1.5 billion dollars. As of now, the company has repurchased 940 million dollars uh, of its shares under this program. The net headcount addition for this quarter stood at 6,000. Remember that Cognizant's strong performance comes a month after IT heavyweights TCS and HCL Technologies posted with strong results. Investors were disappointed with the growth rate and guidance of Infosys and Wipro. Back to you. Now,